You're in the kitchen with Chef R. Allen, and today we're doing a chicken cacciatore recipe. Guys, oh so easy to make and delicious to eat. Welcome guys, once again, you're in the kitchen with Chef R. Allen. Today I'm doing a chicken cacciatore. Uh, I got the I got the oil going, uh, heating up. I got the oven on 350. Uh, someone asked me, I was trying to think of something to do, but someone came and told me that it's ch chicken cacciatore day. <laughs> I would have never known it, but uh, I'm glad you told me. And uh, so we're gonna do a chicken cacciatore. So it's a real simple recipe. Uh, we'll cut this down to medium. I got my uh, garlic, red pepper, green pepper, and onions. Got some white wine. And if you don't, and if I don't finish it in the, in the on the menu, I will be cooking, drinking it myself. But anyway, uh, I got the garlic. So we're gonna start off. I'm doing a. I'm using a grilled. The Kinder's uh, so, uh, grilled uh, seasoning, which is real good. I'm doing chicken thighs with the bone. I like the bone in with the skin. I like that. Uh, it, it just give a better flavor. So we're gonna season. We're gonna season both sides of the chicken. And then I'm gonna dredge it in the flour. And I got, I got season, I got the flower season too. So we're gonna bring this in closer. So we got the oil going. We're just gonna dredge it with a little flour, get the skin down. But you want to, you want to get a crust. Dredge it a little bit. And you got it, you want to sear it a couple minutes on each side. It's okay if you don't cook it through because you're going to put it in the oven anyway. So right now we just want to brown it. And dredge it with a little flour. We'll move this stuff out the way. Like I say, it's just uh, let me clean this as we go. I try, I try to do everything cooking made easy. Try to make it real easy for for you guys. Yes, yeah, I was like I said, I was uh, like I said, I was come, I was thinking of, I was gonna think of what I was gonna cook today, but then someone came to me and told me, hey, it's chicken catch story day, dude, and it's a fall recipe, a fall mix, you know. Something hearty and easy to cook. We we'll bring this down so you guys can see. I got my diced tomatoes with with the juice because you want you want to keep the juice. I got my green and red peppers. Oh man, you gotta have gotta have your capers. You gotta have your capers. I got my fresh thyme. We move this out the way. I got my fresh thyme right here. I throw it all in. Got my garlic and my oregano. Okay. Like I said, don't worry. Don't worry about if you uh. Don't worry about it if if you don't cook it thoroughly, because it's gonna it's gonna bake in the oven. So we're gonna let that cook. Don't let that cook for a couple of minutes. A couple more minutes. Just enough to, to brown and get it coated. I got the oven on 350. Also delicious. And all this right here, guys, is going in the pot. And it's a one, it's a one skillet deal. So this is all you need is right here. You can serve it with uh I'm just I'm just cooking it just to show you guys. Just to show you guys, but you can uh, 
you can cook it, you know, with pasta. I, I, I love to eat it with pasta, you know. So, but I'm just showing you guys just uh, of how to make the chicken cacciatore. So we let that cook for a few minutes. We we'll bring this in closer. Okay, while we got this, so right now we're gonna take this off. We're gonna take this chicken off. Like I said, don't worry about not cooking it through. You just want to basically just get a crust on it. And I'll show you. Cause we're gonna bake it in the oven, so. So right there, like I said, you, you want a nice crust on it. Oh yes. Now, we're gonna scrape some of this stuff off. And you got this, you got the seasoning and all that's in there. Like I said, you're not gonna put a lot of seasoning. It's gonna be the oregano and a little garlic. But right now we're gonna we're gonna drop some onions. Gonna drop all all your all your vegetables and stuff. Don't cut that on it. You don't have to have it on hot. Cause it's all gonna sit in there anyway. A little bit of garlic. Oh yes, yes. A little bit of your capers. I love my capers. Then. Love my capers. And a little bit of the little bit of the white wine. Oh yeah, guys, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. And then I like I say, some people cut it up to do what they want. I, I just with the time, I just like to spread it around. I do stems and all. Put a little bit of that oregano. And this is going to cook, it's going to cook for about 25 to 30 minutes. It all depends on your oven. So we're going to move this stuff out the way. It all depends on your oven. Now the chicken, I don't want to, I don't want to drop it in and, you know, soak it. I just want to lay it on top. And we're going to let, we're going to let it cook in the oven for about 25 minutes. And that's, that's, I'm telling you, that's, that's as simple as it get. It don't get no easier than that. You're in the kitchen with Chef R. Allen. Cooking made easy, guys. And I'm telling you, it doesn't get no better than that. Okay, so we're going to bring this down. Put this in for about 25 minutes. I got the, I got it on 350. Let this cook. We're going to cut this off here. I'm going to put this in the oven for about 25 minutes. And we're gonna let the magic happen. Okay, bring this down. Put that in there, let that cook. Guys, like I said, I, I just, uh, I wanna thank you guys as always for liking and subscribing. I just, you know, for those that's been checking me out, been seeing what I'm doing for all them, the recipes and stuff. Like I said, someone, told me about it today a chicken cacciatore day i would have never know but thank you and uh so i'm making chicken cacciatore today uh if you look at my 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 channel you'll see uh that i'm doing new things i'm excited about what's going on i'm excited about the replies the comments the subscribers i'm you guys are awesome couldn't have done it without you guys we're gonna bring this back down like i said about 25 minutes Man, we're going to see the magic. Let's bring this in closer. Okay, guys, we're at the halfway mark. I just want you guys to see, see what it's looking like. Let me grab this here. Let you guys see what it's looking like. And that's why I got it. I got it sitting on top. Oh, yes. Just like that, man. So we're going to let that cook for another 15, 20 minutes. 
And we got chicken cacciatore. Bring this in closer. Okay, guys, that's about it. That should do it. It's been about 32 minutes. I said 25 to 30 minutes. It's been 32 minutes. We're going to bring this out. Let's bring this in close so you guys can see it. Oh, it smells so good. Yes, it does. Bring this out. And that's, oh, man, look at that. Look at that there. That right there. Bring that in. That right there is the cacciatore, chicken cacciatore. Oh yeah. You see how they got the crust to cut this off? You got your crust there. I'm going to leave that in the pan right there. Just want you guys to see it. Man, it's delicious, smelling good. You smell the capers. Oh, man. Now, like I said, you can do it with the pasta. You can cook it with your pasta. I just want to show you guys just a simple, you know, I just want to show you just the ingredients, you know, just to do the chicken cacciatore. And, uh, man, that's, that's it. That's, that's delicious. Guys, as always, thank you guys for liking and subscribing. Until next time, I'll see you in the kitchen with Chef R. Allen, Cooking Made Easy.